Good morning. I'm going to attempt to cook a six minute breakfast, complete breakfast, in six minutes. Okay? Today we're going to be using this uh, Stone Wave. It says Gourmet Dishes in Minutes Stone Wave Microwave Cooker, Non Stick Handmade Ceramic Stoneware. Okay. The secret is the unique steam release chimney and domed lid design. Interesting. Great for desserts and all kind of other goodies. Okay. Let's open this box up and see what we got. We got uh, stone wave bowl with a non getting hot handle. <laughs> In the lid, very loose fitting lid. Okay. Also comes with instructions on how to cook different things and stuff. But uh, who wants to read all this, right? Save that for later. You need to re you can read that on a full stomach. And we're also going to be trying this uh, bacon wave, as seen on TV. Cooks up to 14 slices. Okay. So, go ahead and open this up. Let's see what we got. We've got the uh, actual bacon wave product here. Also comes with instructions with different microwave temperatures. This microwave is 1,100 watts, by the way. Um, I find that's the best microwave for cooking uh, your breakfast. It also comes with these little skewers. They appear to be plastic. Just like made out of the same material as the uh, bacon wave. So, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to take my eggs and crack them into directly into the uh, stone wave here. Okay? Now, it looks like I took that stone wave out of the box, which I did, but uh, I washed it off camera before I opened it, you know, so I recommend you do the same before putting your eggs in here. So we're going to take this and we're going to break the yolks, scramble it a little. If you leave the yolks solid when you put it in the microwave, they will, they can and will explode. Okay, so we're going to place the lid on there. And when I showed you how to do this with the mug, we heat it the first cycle for 30 seconds. This one I'm going to heat for 45 seconds. And the reason being is that I'm going to give the uh, some of the wattage to the stone wave itself to actually heat it up. Excuse me while I get the bacon out of the refrigerator. Back set up here. Here's the bacon. We're going to put in the bacon wave. I think I'm going to have three slices of bacon this morning because I am feeling like three bakes, three slices of bacon. So let's go ahead and take these out. Let's put them aside for now. Now, judging by the picture on the box, you're supposed to put the bacon in the slats this and skewer it. Okay, this bacon is a lot longer than this bacon wave. Excuse me, just knock down the plastic container. So I'm folding the edges over like that. I don't know how much that's going to affect it. Skewering the bacon, that's pretty easy. It goes right in. Alright, we got our bacon skewered and that's ready to go. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay, we're going to take this out. Let's see what we got so far. It's good, it's 
starting to solidify. So you want to scramble it up some more. This gets rid of all the uh, potential air pockets, which will heat up, expand inside the uh, solid portions of the egg, and then explode into the microwave. But since the uh, stone wave comes with the lid, uh, an explosion would not make a big, a big of a mess as it would if you were, if you were cooking in a mug. So we'll put that back in there and we'll go for one minute. Let's see here. One minute. Okay, what I'm looking at this uh, bacon wave, what I'm not liking about it is that there's no cover. I'm thinking that there should be a cover to catch any kind of splatter that would come off the bacon when you cook it. But uh, we'll see if there's any uh, splatter. I'm almost predicting that there will be. <laughs> we almost had a big splatter right there. Okay, oh, I gotta put my toast in the toaster while all this is cooking. So I'm going with your 100% uh, whole wheat, gluten-free, no, uh, no um, high fructose corn syrup, which you should read your labels. Why there would be high fructose corn syrup in bread is beyond me. Except to make it cheap and poison you. Okay, so let's see what happened. We're gonna take this out, and before we even look at it, let's go ahead and get the bacon started. I'm going to cook the bacon for four minutes. No cover. Hoping there's not a lot of splatter. The eggs come out perfect. They're really, really fluffy. Just scramble them up a bit. Grab my plate. I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, egg on the plate, just like that. Break them up a bit. Now, this thing works perfect. I can highly recommend the stone wave. It's very good. The lid is kind of hot. You want to be careful. There's no splatter on the inside of the lid. And um, this wide area makes for easy cleaning. You know, when you cook with a mug, it's hard for a person with big hands to get all the way down to the bottom of the mug to scrape out the uh, leftover bits of egg. But this thing is wide open so cleaning should not be any kind of problem at all. In fact, let me walk over here and clean this real quick. It's clean, ready to go for the next time. You know, um, another thing is that uh, you saw me take this directly out of the microwave using the handle. The handle did not get hot at all. The lid got kind of hot. The lid is still warm, but it's cooling off pretty quickly. Okay, the uh, toast just popped up. Let's go ahead and take that out. that on the plate. Put that over there so we don't have any kind of a accident once the bacon is cooking. Well, I can see the bacon it smells pretty good. I hear it popping and sizzling. I'm 
worried that, uh, yeah, you hear that pop? That was a big pop. I'm pretty sure that splattered. We're going to have to check that out. And uh, maybe to make this work, we're going to have to cover that baking wave with uh, something that's microwavable safe, but will keep the splatter contained within the uh, baking wave itself. The baking wave is looking pretty good. We've had three minutes. I'm going to take a look at it. Hmm. It looks pretty crispy. I bet you can eat it now, but let's continue cooking for the full four minutes. Might be too much. I'm going to keep an eye on it. You can usually tell by the smell when the bacon's cooked or when it stops popping. Okay, we can still hear a little sizzle. In the ends, they sh shrunk up how they were overlapping a lot. So that's good. And the bacon wave is holding the bacon pretty straight. So that'd be a um, nice, beautiful piece of bacon. We got 15 seconds left. And let that cook right there. Put a little uh, Morton's light salt on my eggs. Well, a lot of Morton light salt. I use the light salt because it's 50% um, less sodium than regular table salt. And I like a lot of salt, so hopefully that's helping me cut down. Alright, let's take this out. Looks good. Smells good. You can probably get away with cooking it for... It's hot, but if you hold it by these handles, it's not hot, but the... the uh, plate part here is hot. Okay, let's see. These uh, skewers are not hot and they come out pretty easy. Let's put this over here. Take this one. As you can see, the bacon is beautiful. Very crisp. Mmm. Hot. But beautiful. Nice and crisp and straight. My God, look how straight this bacon is. It makes it look like you got a lot more bacon than when you fry it in a pan where it shrivels all up. And this thing here, it did catch a lot of the grease, if you can see that. That's pretty cool. So let's take a look inside the uh, microwave here. And let's get a, get up in there. Here, you come off of here. Take a look. It doesn't look like there was a whole lot of splatter. In fact, I don't see any splatter. So the bacon wave, I have to recommend it too. It works pretty great advertised and the uh, stone wave it, it also works great and you can see here we have a perfect breakfast and it probably took a little longer than six minutes because I was you know using this stuff for the first time and explaining and talking about it a little bit but as you can see Complete microwave breakfast. Here we go. All you need is your orange juice or a glass of milk. And you're good to go. Get your day started. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this breakfast. Take a Look at how crisp this bacon is. Oh my God. Hear the crunch? Alright. I know that's rude, but <laughs> thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoy your microwave breakfast in six minutes or less.